All right, it's Saturday, we're live day. We're talking about a 200 point boost to an individual, how you might be able to do the same. And we're talking about credit line, increased secrets, some things we've talked about before. Now, if you're watching this on the live stream, I appreciate you being part of the live. We have some people coming in right now from the subscribe tribe, the notification squad. We've got people who are, uh, you know, hey, there we are. Uh, greetings, my friend. What up? Hey, how are you? Jay, uh, Miss Waters, good to see you. Mr. Blackbeard Dave, the usual individuals, the subscribe tribe, the people that are always on the, the lives. I appreciate you coming. If you're here for the first time, I appreciate you being here as well. Now, something I want to put out. Uh, before we go too far into our live stream and our Q&As and all that good stuff, make sure you get your questions up here because I want to answer those after we talk about a few things. But some people are telling me, hey, man, I, uh, you know, I work on a Saturday or maybe a Sunday is better for me or I saw some of your other live streams. I've hit different days, different times would be good. You know, um, you know, I'm not notified all the time. Sometimes I miss the notification. I'm not getting the notifications. Brandon, how can I get in touch with you on the live streams? I want to get my questions answers on these lives. Well, we have in in addition to you doing it yourself at 609creditrepair.com or we doing it for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, you know, your credit repair, we have an email list for the subscribe tribe, okay? We've got an email list. You can get on this exclusive email list and it will send you out a little email when I'm going live. So you can get on the live stream because I know some of you are watching the uh, re replay right now. You're thinking, hey, man, I missed it live. I'm missing all the time. Um, We've got an individual here just first catching it for the first time live. Thank you so much. But maybe, the, you know, they didn't, they're not getting all the notification list. So what I'm going to do in the chat right now, I'm going to put up where you can get on the email list for notifications for the live streams. Okay. And, and we've got the uh, email uh, it's just, sorry, the email is a couple of things. Email us, I can get to the live streams. Uh, my email, my email as well. You can get in touch with me if you don't get to your questions on our nice live streams or you need something answered afterwards or whatnot, you'll have my email. So I'm going to put all this in here for you. You got it coming right now. Bam. That's the one for the email there. Uh, the email list. Christy Anderson, that's awesome because I haven't got notifications either. Well, that's good. That's what we're talking about. I want to make sure that you get the notifications and you are squared away. Okay, cool. So that's the email list. Okay, email list. Bam, keep putting it there. Make sure you get it. Jump on it. All right, make sure you check uh, your spam as well. You know, make sure here's my email. Okay, so we got the email list, we got the email, and make sure you check your spam as well, all right? People asking what Jerome is. Jerome is back behind the camera. Keep it tight, get it tight, Jerome. Get, get it here. And keep it, keep it, keep it stable, Jerome. Okay, get it tight. Let me see, Jerome, keep it, there we go. Tick, tight, 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 Jerome, okay. Enough playing around, enough shooking and jiving. People come in, they're waiting for the good credit results and the credit repair, okay? I already done a few minutes here. Stop playing around. Right. So individual got a 200 point increase. OK, I purchased your bound committed package a couple of a couple of months ago. OK, pardon me. I'm just getting the mic right. <clears throat> I only got up to letter two. Didn't even finish. Got to letter two. However, my ink, my scores have increased well over 200 points. All right. Phoebe's on the live stream. Boy, you crazy. Phoebe, thank you so much. One of our team members, our admin here helping out. Phoebe on the live stream as well. Thank you so much. Um, 200 point increase. So only got up to letter two. Got the got the uh, Beyond Committed Package a little while ago. Only got up to letter two. Didn't finish just yet. Getting back into it. However, my scores have increased well over 200 points. I started in the low 400s. So now I'm in the high 600s. I can't thank you all enough. Anyway, she's got a couple of questions. Now, one of them refers to a couple of small collections. Individuals have asked this question before, and sometimes people think, hey, you know, I didn't see your videos. I saw this. Unfortunately, I paid off two small accounts in January, a couple hundred bucks, you know, two separate agencies. I completely forgot about the rule not paying them, okay? Ugh. Hey, don't worry about it. Jerome be forgetting all the time, okay? Jerome will be paying them collectors, Jerome, okay? Anyway, they're now showing paid with zero on the collection, the balances on my credit report, okay? Now, can I still dispute them? Do I keep the same language? Do I ask for verification? 
what do I do? Okay. Where's the Tony's asking, where's the goatee? I have to, I have to let that goatee go, brother. Okay. Um, what do I do? Can I still dispute? Yes, absolutely. Everybody in the tribe, we all support one another here in different levels of education and where we all are. But many people know that we can dispute. We can dispute. We can dispute. And just because they didn't trick you or you don't pay it or whatever doesn't mean you can't dispute and get that off. Okay. And just because you paid doesn't mean it's all bad, right? Like Chris is saying here, doesn't mean it's all bad. Cornita, hello, people, Awesome Life Group LLC checking in. Cornita's on the line, my partner on the uh, on uh, Awesome Life Group. So we're here, all right? You want to sign up now? Sign up, theawesomelifegroup.com. We can do it for you. It's not all bad, okay? It's not all bad. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to still have to get those negative, nasty collections off because collections are still going to look nasty once they are on there okay and until that changes you're gonna have to dispute okay so yes this individual can still dispute don't worry about it and look sometimes people say hey man is it gonna be harder because someone paid or it was paid or i paid or whatever nah ain't gonna necessarily be harder okay in fact they might not want to try and keep verifying because you already paid it it's already they already got their money okay so great so we're going over that she got off all these other negative nasty items we got the 200 point boost. Now, how did she do it as well? She brought her utilization down. Okay, utilization below uh, 30% on one, 20% on another credit card, uh, below 10% on another credit card, below 15% on another credit card. So she's averaging out to under, you know, like 20% or something like that. Okay, so she's asking me about a credit line increase in this email as well. So I want to talk to you about credit line increase in some of the misconceptions or secrets or some of the things that we don't know and I didn't realize until I got deeper into, you know, this. When I first started out a few years ago, starting my credit repair years ago, I didn't know about credit line increases and what bureau they were going to. And we've talked about Innovis before. And a lot of times they're going to Innovis to get an increase in your credit line. Okay. So sometimes they're like, look, no, yeah, we're not going to put a hard inquiry on your credit reports. Now, they can say that because that's not the major three, but they might be doing an inquiry in Innovis. They might be looking into Innovis. They might be getting stuff from Innovis. So you're not getting the, the, the regulatory inquiries, right? These inquiries, but they're still getting the information they want or need. Okay. Now, credit bureau information is missing or unavailable for her credit line for four of her credit lines. Okay. But she found out that they were looking into Innovis. She had never heard of them. She got their number, their address, all this stuff. I never heard of them. What are your thoughts? She asked. Look, Innovis may not have your complete information, your complete available information. You might have derogatories on you. You might have things on there that you've never seen. So make sure you're checking your Innovis before you go for a credit line increase. Now, you're talking about, Brandon, why, why would I want to get a credit line increase? Well, this is, Bernie, thank you so much. That is a nice shirt. Thank you so much. Try to look good on the live streams for the subscribe chat. Now, why would you want a credit line increase? This can help your credit utilization. And it's great, it's great if you have a good history with that bank, okay? You're already in that family, you're already in the bank, you're already working with the Chases and the Capital Ones and the Barclays and the, you know, B of A's and all this stuff, okay? Got the Amexes. Hey, you can ask them, say, hey, can you double it? Hey, can you double it? Hey, can you add another 5K or whatever to that trade line? It's easier because you're not getting a hard inquiry. You don't have to go to some other bank that may or may not have the same qualification that you already qualify for. Because sometimes people will get in with one bank or credit card lender and they can't with another because, you know, their utilization is not 100% right or their the derogatories aren't 100% where they need to be. Of course, we want everything 100% clean and repaired, but sometimes you can get a couple of things that aren't when you're not 100%, you know, 800 scores. Perfect. Okay. So certain banks have different varying degrees of qualification. So instead of trying to go to... Um, you know, a Barclay that might be a little harder. We already got a chase that's at 10,000 in available credit. And you're like, hey, man, can you double it? Hey, man, that's just that's as good as getting another card sometimes if you already have enough revolving cards. Right. And we've gone over having at least three getting up into 12 when you're going for the 800. Right. But when you start now, OK, when you start now, we're getting up to this three that we use all the time, right? We're using it, paying it off, all that good stuff, okay? And that's just your revolving credit cards. Tango, Tango Tracker, thank you so much for the super chat. Jerome, 
tighten that camera angle up. All right. Tango says, tighten that camera angle up, drum, drum. Tighten that camera angle up. Tighten it up. Get tight. Come on, bring it in. Tight. Tight. There we go. Here we go. Tighten it up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So y'all understand. Credit line increase is another secret, another weapon, another way to improve your credit without necessarily getting a hard inquiry and potentially making sure that you get approved even if you are not getting the hard inquiry, right? Because if you don't get it, you're not getting a hard inquiry, double check too. Some do do hard inquiries. Some banks will look again. So double check, ask them. Say, hey, you know, is this going to be a hard inquiry? Is it going to be a hard inquiry? And they're supposed to tell you and they will tell you and most of the time they're right. Take down information of who you talk to, when, where, how, this, that, and the third, right? So if you get the hard inquiry and they told you no, you got their feet to the fire, okay? <laughs> all right. Another write in here, all right? Hello, I have had great results so far. My credit score was 523 around Christmas, so a few months ago, okay? And within a, within a month and a half, it was raised to 606. I did get items deleted. And I did get response from my dispute letters from all three bureaus, which is good. Sometimes the bureaus play games, okay? I received my document saying that uh, a couple of items were, were verified and they belonged to me. My question is, is it still right for me to send my second round of disputes because of the fact that I didn't receive any signed documents, okay? Now, we know here that answer. Of course, you got negative items coming off, the credit score is going up, send that second round letter. OK, they send this stuff because they're worried. They're trying to get you to do what you're doing right now. Worry, confused. Do I still send it? Do I not? What is what is qualified? What doesn't? OK, you want to make sure you get that negative, nasty, erroneous stuff out. Send your disputes. People are asking questions about the disputes. Hey, what if I'm disputing with the creditor? What if they don't respond? What I dispute with the collector? We're going to talk about all that. I'm just going to get a little swig, a little wet, a little wet my whistle. All right. Get a little, get a little walk. Can I get some water drum? Can a brother get some water, Jerome? Shoot. Ah, oh, man. Jerome, not too tight, Jerome. Back it up, Jerome. Not too tight, brother. All right? <laughs> Mr. Coop. Mr. Coop said not too tight. All right? Not just perfect. Just get it. Jerome, give me the cake. All right. Get tight. Okay. Enough playing games. All right? It's, it's Saturday. I know we're having a good time. But we got to get back to the emails and all this stuff. People asking the questions. Okay, so we're going to ask them to answer their questions right now. And again, I'm going to tell you right now, if you just started on the, you started on the chat, okay, you just started on the chat, you just started on the chat, let me do, let me make sure, make sure, make sure you have my email, okay? Because, you know, we get to having fun, but we want to get it done, right? So you have my email, email me, email your boy, I like your boy, okay? Email me, my email's up here, I'm going to keep giving it on the chat, I'm going to keep giving you my email, I'm going to keep getting in touch with you. Also, for the live streams, like I've said, and I don't know if you're coming in now or later or this, that, and third later, skip it through the video. Okay, who knows? Okay. But if you're watching the replay, I appreciate you. We've also got the awesome new email list that will be a nice little notification into your in inbox for when I go live. Because some people are saying, hey, I'm not getting the notifications. Hey, I need to get see you on different days. Okay, Brennan? Ain't nobody got a whole Saturday to play games with you. Okay. So maybe I need to see you on a Sunday or a Tuesday or something. So look, we're going to put the email list here as well. You can sign up. Okay, you can sign up. It's great in addition to in addition to you doing this on your own at 609creditrepair.com or we doing it for you, us doing it for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, okay? Yes, the subscribetribe.com is where you can check, check a look and jump on that email list for notifications for when I go live, okay? So it's up there as well. 609creditpair.com. We can do the work for you at the Austin Life Group.com and check out our new email list. It's available. It's ready to rock and roll. You have some of the first VIPs to get in on. I'm telling you, you're going to want to jump on that now, okay? All right. Let's see. All righty. Apologies, I got to go back. Oh, and I also got to switch to live chat. It likes to put me on top chat, which is uh, great, but sometimes I don't see everything. I don't see everything. So let me make sure that I get all your good questions, pertinent questions, 
And again, if you're watching the video or if you're watching on the live stream, I appreciate you. Please give us a thumbs up. Okay. Appreciate you. And you got my email. Okay. Should I wait? Jeremy asks, wanted to ask, should I wait for my disputes to be done before applying for credit cards and trade lines? Okay. You can apply for credit cards that you know for the most part. Okay. For the most part, you got a good understanding that you know that you can get approved for. Okay. How do you know you can get approved from? Now, first off the gate, we know my jewelers club card, New Coast Direct, Hutton Chase, Ox Publishing. Okay. My Jewelry Club card and, and uh, New Coast Direct are the actual revolving store cards, okay? And they have big lines, we know, 5K each, all right? But they're designed for individuals who are less than desirable to the big banks, right? Maybe in the 500s, yeah? As you move up, as you move up, you may be able to qualify for other secured or unsecured credit cards, okay? Now, we know the My Jewelers Club card, New Coast Director, unsecured store credit cards, revolving accounts, 5K each. You might move up. You might be like, hey, look, I want to get a Capital One secured. Why Capital One? Because after usually about five payments, they will increase your credit line. They've been known to open up to unsecured cards to people. That might be a way to go. You can do that. You could do that with self lender as well. While you're building your credit, while you're repairing your credit, while you're doing your disputes, as some things come off, you can start to build. Now, as your disputes are happening, you may not want to go out for those credit cards where you need 760s, right? And 800s, but you can start building that way. I think that's a great thing to do. Okay. It's going to be more challenging. And you want to be cautious because you can get hard inquiries during the process and you may not want to do that. Okay. So you have to be very cautious. As things lighten up, as you start getting all these negative, erroneous, nasty items off, you get them all off, then you're pretty much free to go, right? Once your score is high enough to get the cards that you want, okay? One of the good ways to do is to actually ask them what scores and what qualifications they're looking for. A lot of times they'll ask you in your application, do you have any derogatories? Do you have any bankruptcies? To, you know, they'll ask you these questions. Even though they're going to check, they're going to want to double check with you, okay? So once that's off of there, you can say, hey, no, I don't have anything on my reports. No, I don't have any of that stuff, right? And it's not going to be there. Now, with the trade lines, the AU trade lines, when we're talking about trade lines, you're, you're bringing it down from AU trade lines to trade lines, right? AU trade lines, authorized user trade lines. If it's a friends and family member, you know it's good credit. You know it's going to help your score. And you know they're not going to be paying on it and charging it up and carrying on like Jerome, okay? <laughs> then you can go ahead and get, jump on that and stay on that long enough. If you're going to a company, if you're going to through um, us or something like that for AU trade line, okay, and you want something for the short term, because this is a short term boost, then it's towards the end of your repair when the disputes are all squared away and you need a little boost so you can get your own credit cards, your own loans, whatever it is. Okay. Excellent. I have a closed account that is negative. Should I dispute it or leave it alone? It's negative. You probably want to dispute that sucker. Okay. If it's positive, you want to leave it alone because positive history is going to be good to go, right? You're going to be okay. You can be able to leave that positive history on there all long, all day long. Okay. You'll be able to leave that positive history on there for years. And that positive history will help your credit history. Okay. It's helped mine. It's helped others. Okay. Now, if it's negative and you know it's negative, and it's probably bringing your score down, okay? Can I? Can it be removed? Can the steals charge off? Can it be removed from the report potentially? Make sure you shoot me an email so I can understand a little bit more about your uh, specific situation. Awesome. <laughs> this is great, Miss Waters. Question, if collection company, after disputing the debts, the collection company states the original credit collector uh, creditor will be addressing the account from now on. They straight up were like, nope, we're not doing it anymore. It's going back to them. Well, this is interesting. Okay, this is interesting. That's a 623 letter all day. Okay, 
So you've got that in writing. You've got the 623. You find out what the original creditor has now, supposedly to substantiate this and keep it on the report because you have a letter saying, well, the collector says they don't have nothing. They don't want to deal with me and they don't want to deal with you and they're not dealing with it and they're not servicing this. Okay. And you dispute this sucker. And if both of them are saying, no, they need to take care of it. No, they need to take care of it. No, who needs to take care of it? Does complaints all day. That's potentially taking them to the courts, right? It's not legal advice, just educational information. Check with your local courts and lawyer and all that stuff, but you can take them to the courts. It's open to you. $1,000 per violation. Neither one of them wants to verify. Neither one of them wants to validate. It's ridiculous. Wild, wild stuff, right? Point to Point Transportation LLC has few hard inquiries. Two other derogatory marks, but scores are 653, 656, and 640. Thank you for all your info. You're very welcome. Okay. Um, and Steel's, uh, Ste uh, Seal, sorry, Seal's S, you got my email, but they're giving you, uh, you, you paid the charge off, but they're still giving you a hard time. You should be able to dispute that. You should be able to get that off. You should be able to ask them how they're substantiating and keeping on there looking for original instruments of indebtedness asking them how they, um, their accounting practices and, you know, what money they s charge it off or potentially, uh, cause they probably gave you a settlement, probably the difference between what they wrote off or what they got from their insurance or whatnot. Email me, I'll help you out. I just need to know more of your specifics. Um, transportation, point to point transportation. We have inquiry dispute letters. We've got derogatory mark letters. Okay. Negative items. You can get that beyond committed package 609 creditpair.com. You've got my email. If you've got questions, you can email me. You've got other questions. You can ask right here. All right, brother. Appreciate you. How soon should I ask for increase? Good questions. I like it. Um, I just think about six months, maybe. Might be a good, good opportunity. Uh, I know Capital One, after about five payments with their secured card, they're open to increasing your credit line. Um, they're in, open to maybe getting uh, open you up an unsecured card. So I'd say about six months, six payments, uh, giving you that time to say, yeah, I pay on time. I use the card. I pay on time every time. You might be able to do that. The longer you go and the more credit worthy you appear or are or look, the bigger your increases, the quicker you can ask for stuff. I might need to uh, look into that again for myself. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a minute since I asked for a credit line increase. Mostly been looking at the business side of things, business credit, asking for vendor credit line increases. Um, that is something that you will have to absolutely do on the business side as your business, uh, you know, kind of takes off and grows and things like that. So uh, we've been building business credit for individuals and businesses, uh, business funding. So reach out to me if you're looking for business solutions as well. Make sure you got my email. Uh, the business stuff is uh, very specific to your business and your business needs. I know we have a few people with LLCs and S Corps and all this good stuff. So good to go. All right. Good to go. Peaked and tuned. Thank you for the super chat. I don't see your question just yet. Let me scroll down to make sure. I know we got a good amount of questions. I want to make sure I get to them. Okay. Sarcastro one. Okay. What is your email? All right. All right, Junith Baltadano. Baltadano. Okay. Just got the stuff today. Just, just got the package today. Excellent. Want to know how to remove an eviction. Excellent. Good questions. Okay. The eviction. First of all, again, we want to make sure it is a true blue, real deal eviction, right? They went through the legal process. They had the notifications. They gave you the vacate to quit. They gave you all this stuff, okay? And that you actually, you actually went through that process. Some people, okay, some people 
are just leaving early. Okay, they're just leaving early. So it's not actually an eviction, it might just be a broken lease. They're not actually being booted out from their stuff, they're not actually being evicted, right? Okay, so there's some wiggle room in that. The other thing is that um, sometimes core logic holds this, okay? So sometimes core logic has it, sometimes LexisNexis has this. For the most part, those two are gonna hold it, all right? That's where we've seen this before. We have video of a young woman who was able to dispute with them and knock that stuff up. And we were able to see her turn it around pretty quickly. Okay, LexisNexis core logic for her. She sent a letter, she got it out of there pretty quickly. All right, and then she started disputing with the three bureaus. All right, if you need some information on core logic or LexisNexis, I'm gonna put it here in the chat right now. Okay. This is where you can request your consumer reports or logic, okay? This is where you can request your consumer reports with LexisNexis. I advise everyone to take a look at their LexisNexis. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna have a lot of stuff in there, and it may not be 100% accurate, all right? Just looking through some stuff right now. Yes, letters for addresses, wrong spelled names, um, updated personal profile is what we call it. Inaccurate information, personal profile update, address profile update, okay? You have those letters in the package, okay? We can do it for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. This is one of the very first things we do at theawesomelifegroup.com. Seal and free some of the smaller bureaus, send up the update address personal profile lists, okay? Some of the first things we do, even before we get into it, all right? Ah, Whittle, Savaris Whittle. If I dispute through the mail, okay, certified mail, and Equifax then sends me an email saying, I can view online. Do I lose my rights if I click the link to view? Good question. So you want to know. Can you know? Can you read all their user disclaimers and terms and conditions and all this stuff and arbitration and all this and don't waive your rights? Who's sitting there reading all that, right? Now, I'll tell you what. Just from a standpoint of trying to trap us up, do you think that's a good idea? Huh? So I thought about it. I said, you know what? You could, but we don't know. Probably not. Now, probably not. You have to understand, most contracts don't allow you to waive your actual legal rights, okay? There are some laws that are in place that allow you to do so, to waive such rights, but usually not, okay? So they can't, most people can't say, hey, if you sign this, you're going to go ahead and let me go ahead and take everything you you own or something like that, right? You, you understand, there's not a legal, uh, those, are not, those are laws that are really not allowed, right? So they try to play with, hey, well, you know, if you sign up for this and then maybe do this, maybe there's arbitration instead of taking this court, right? You just have to be cautious, okay? So instead of worrying about, do I do this and how can I do it online, just abstain from it. You know, if you feel like they're trying to trap us because they're trying to play games, why don't they just send something in the mail, right? So. The idea here is that, yes, in the past, okay, I was like, Jerome, didn't do, I didn't know what, no better, okay? But I looked at stuff online, right? They sent me an email. I don't even know how they got my email. That should be a concern to you, okay? But they got my email. And they sent me an email and they said, hey, you know, you can view your results online. I said, oh, this is great. This is faster. There's a couple of reasons why I don't advise it. Number one, you're not going to necessarily get anything in the mail. Okay, so all of a sudden you're not getting stuff in the mail. You may not maintain it. I didn't maintain it. I don't know my password. I still don't know. Um, you may not maintain it. You need those records. You've got to keep those records. Having a card copy sent to you makes it harder for you to not have it, right? And you can make copies of it. You can keep it. You can put it in a folder. You can keep it, okay? The other thing is we don't know if you're going to waive your rights or not. Probably not, but we don't want any nonsense, okay? You send it in the mail. It's certified using United States Postal Service, it's registered. They have to send something through a United States government entity 
to you, to your home address, okay? Also, gives them wiggle room on that response, right? You want to see their day responses. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, well, we sent it to you online. You didn't get online. Now that's on you, okay? Well, you waive that 30-day right notification, right? So that, I could see that potentially be an issue. But it's up to you. I would advise, encourage you to continue to get your own credit monitoring if you want to look at stuff online away from the bureaus, okay? And go ahead and get your bureau responses in the mail, all right? DJ Lady J TV, good to see you. Seeing you, You're one of the subscribe tribe members here, emailing me. It's good to see you. Okay. Uh, hey Brandon, I sent a dispute letter to the bureaus and verification letters to the creditor involving involuntary repo. Hasn't been removed yet, but they decreased the balance. They've already decreased the balance. Plus, they've uh, never received information. Okay. Continue your process. Continue the process. I've seen this. Where all of a sudden they decrease the balance, they zero it out, they close it, they hope you go away. What do I do? What? Stay with the process. Stay with them. They're trying to shook and jive you, frighten you, worry you. Hey, it's closed. Go away. You, it's already closed. Don't worry about it, okay? No, no, no. That's not good enough, okay? Send your next validation. Send, send your letter that says they failed to validate to the bureaus. Apologize. I uh, had a little breakfast this morning, okay? Sometimes I go to work with no breakfast. Go in with no breakfast, okay? That's why I'm a little late. I had a little meal, so I have some energy. But I think I had a little too much salt in it or something. I'm a little thirsty, a little parched, okay? Do we work a manual, manual Rodriguez? Do we work on building business credit as well? We do indeed. We do indeed. Okay. I have a, uh, this is for the insiders. All right. This is just for the VIPs. This is just for the subscribe tribe. Okay. Yes. I'm going to put the website up for our business credit as well. Okay. Now, business credit. has a couple of options. Okay, make sure you get this. Business credit's got a couple of options. One of the great options is you, now you got your good credit history. You start a company. You know, it doesn't necessarily have its own revenue. Maybe it does, but even so, you're ready to rock one. You need a cash card, right? You need an Amex, a Visa, a MasterCard. You need a, you need a card, okay? You can't be mixing it up. You can't be uh, cohabitating stuff, right? Um, Cross contamination, right? I'm just making stuff up. No, you can't have stuff uh, overlap. You can't have personal stuff and um, business stuff on the same statements and stuff. You want to keep stuff clean, right? So you need a credit card. Now you have your good credit history. Now you're good to go. Man, you can go out there and grab a business credit card like a Chase that has 0% for six months, a year, something like that, okay? You can get something that is going to help you out. Now, there's no personal guarantee credit as well. And we help you with that as well, okay? That is building up the business credit on the EIN, your Dunn's number, Dunn Bradstreet, your, your FICO, SSB, your small business FICO, your, your experience small business, all these things, right? And you're working with this stuff, but you've got to start with the vendors. you got to start with the uh, store cards, and then you can get your cash cards, okay? Thomas Walton, hey Brandon, I got everything off except for the BK thus far on Equifax and uh, experience. So TransUnion's all good, Thomas. Congratulations also on all those deletions. Thomas, did you get your bankruptcy off the Lexus Nexus? Lexus Nexus. Double check Lexus Nexus. Get it out of Lexus Nexus. Dispute again with the bureaus. Now bankruptcy is one of the more derogatory items. Okay, so you want to stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Is going to happen just like all this other negative, nasty stuff could potentially happen as well in this next few rounds. Okay, so stick with it because individuals here, we've seen the review, uh, seen the testimonies, people getting their bankruptcy off. You could be one of them, Thomas. Okay, stick with it. Just because the other bureaus are taking off, just because they're taking stuff, just they're trying to do some stuff and whatnot, and you think, hey, man, this thing is, it can come off too. Okay, so stick with it, brother. Okay, and you got my email. Okay.
Hey, Brandon, if I apply for credit cards and I get declined, how soon can you dispute? I'm assuming the dispute the uh, negative inquiry, right? You got this hard inquiry. You want to get this hard inquiry off. How do I get it? Brandon, Brandon how quickly? Okay. 90, 90, 90 days, 90, 90 days. Is it business days? Is it calendar days? Brandon, what is it? Uh, I would go with, uh, <laughs> I would go with calendar days. Uh, for the most part, unless you got some big holidays in there, uh, some big federal holidays where the banks would be closed. Okay. But for the most part, uh, 90 days. Michael White, thank you for the super chat. He says, Jerome, keep Brandon in focus, please. Focus. Focus, Jerome. You keep it tight. Get, let's get it tight, but not too tight. And keep it in focus. Jerome, come on, brother. Tight. Bring it up. Up, up, down, down, Jerome. Come on, brother. One job, Jerome. One job. Okay. Just get, get in. You. Get tight. All right, a little bit back, a little bit back, left, right, tight, in, out, focus. Good. All right. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate you. Uh, how can I have my name correction? Uh, you want to send in your, just your uh, updated personal profile name. Make sure you have, basically what it says is um, these variations of my name are incorrect. This is my actual name. I've never had, I've ever gone by those other names. This is the only name you have to have on there, Okay. I have a city card that's still reporting closed, uh, but there's a balance. Uh, the credit card's still reporting a balance. It's past due, but it's closed. Okay. Is it charged off, Mr. Knight? Also, if it's closed and it's just past due balance, how late have you been? Are you paying on time now? No, probably not since they closed it out. You can dispute this sucker, get this nasty negative item off. Now, the balance, if there's a collection, okay, if you got a city card and now it's in collections and there's a balance in the collection, then this will be zeroed out. If there's no collection, they can, they really shouldn't, but they can just leave all that information out of balance. But you can dispute this unverified account. You can get this nasty stuff off. 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you at the awesomelifegroup.com. All right? Why you want to do this? When are you going to start? You're going to start now because credit repair starts now. All right. Jimmy, okay, this is interesting. I've been sub to you for a year now, but I've never gotten to catch you live. So thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate you being on the live here. Also, remember, we've got our um, email list that you can jump on that will notify you when I go live at the subscribe tribe, the subscribe tribe.com. Uh, that will, you can jump on that email list. It'll so you be notified when I go live, okay? Now, how do I get off to just two hard inquiries if I applied and was denied. And if I'm at four inquiries, when should I stop applying for credit? Okay. You have two hard inquiries where you applied and you were denied. Well, why were you denied, Jimmy? What did they say? Okay. I'm just looking. I'm just seeing if Jimmy had responded. Mm, okay, cool. So you can dispute after 90 days and you can use your 604, okay? 604 letters. You could say, hey, we need your, we need, uh, I need to see that you had permissible purpose, okay? And I keep looking for Jimmy to see if he responded, okay? Um, this is what I need. I need to see the permissible purpose. I need to see that you, it was mine, that you have a contract with my name on it, that this is in, in, in fact, my application and that you had purpose to draw from it. Okay. You can send a dispute to the bureaus. I was denied for business credit both times. Okay. Business credit. This is interesting. So why business credit? Okay. Yeah. Your scores are 748, 744, and 720. So you have good scores. Okay. So Business credit specifically, did you call their reconsideration line? Okay. Sometimes you got 748, 744, and 720. Okay. I've had good credit and have applied for credit cards and had to call their reconsideration line. Okay. Business on my personal credit. Yes, I understand. Um, reconsideration line and ask them why. Okay. 
Sometimes they'll say, oh, well, we want to see your business been in business longer. Okay. Some people have to understand. Some people have to understand that you've been in business longer than what maybe you uh, are telling them. You might have been in business and then you're just like, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and start this LLC for real. But I would have been doing this for friends and family for three, six, nine months, 10 months a year. Okay. So you might have been in business a year, two years already. Okay. But they're looking at something and say, well, your LLC was just organized last month, right? Your LLC just got together 30 days ago. So now all of a sudden you look like you're all new or whatever, but you've really been in business a year. Okay. So you need the inquiries off. You can dispute those inquiries. But if you, if you have four inquiries and you have good credit, that shouldn't preclude you from getting more credit. I'll tell you right now, I had way more than four inquiries and was still getting credit cards and business credit. Okay. Let's see. Sometimes you might have to hit up that reconsideration line. Sometimes when I had hard inquiries and I was dealing with, uh, when I was dealing with the travel miles, right? And so I would get a credit card, boom, boom, boom. I was getting all sorts of credit. At a certain point, they didn't want to auto approve. So I had to call reconsideration line and I have to say, hey, you know, what's going on? This, that, and the third, you know, you got these hard inquiries, whatever. They didn't even ask me. They were just like, oh yeah, we'll push this through. Okay. Because you have good credit. You have no derogatories. You have four inquiries. There shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any reason you could get approved for it. Okay. It just might be their automatic system that's kicking you out. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, cool. Great. <laughs> Applied for Dun & Bradstreet number. They called me to quote unquote manage my credit file. Uh, what is your advice? Okay, look, you can handle this managing your own business credit for yourself. Okay. Let me, let me, you know what? Y'all heard of nav.com, right? Nav lets you pull your free business credit reports. Okay. You don't have to have anybody manage, manage anything for you. You can learn, you can learn this process of getting your own, uh, uh vendors. Okay. Cause you're going to need vendors. You're going to need stuff for your business. The quills, the Grangers, the U-Lines, the, the Pitney Bowes, the Postage, the Stamps.com, the Vista Prints, the Amazon, Net 55s, the whatever it is, the Restaurant Depots, the Jet Shows, the whatever it is, whatever business you're in. I'm sure there's a Net 30 or Net 55 or a seven-day Net or what, whatever it is. You can get those vendors. You might need store cards, the Dell, the Apples, the uh, Staples, all these things that you're going to have to utilize, okay? You're going to need those. It's easy, okay? Uh, you don't have to have somebody manage it, okay? We can help you. I'm giving away as much information as I know, okay? Having Dun & Bradstreet manage, quote unquote, manage your file, paying them, now you're gonna pay a bureau, right? This is a bureau that are collecting data to sell and procure, and then now you're gonna pay them on top of that too. They're gonna help you? I don't know, it's up to you, but what I think is you can handle this on your own, okay? All right, yeah, Jimmy, you got no negatives, no late payments, only four little hard inquiries. I mean, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to get you some business credit, okay? Find out why they were goofy about stuff. Because I'll tell you what, Dell was very specific about us. They wanted us to be in business two years. We looked at our uh, reports. We were like, they're, they're reporting this inaccurately. We've been in business longer than what they're saying we are. Like I was saying, the organization versus how long we've been, all this stuff. They didn't have it right. They didn't have our employees right. They didn't have our SIC code right. They had some weird derogatory in that. It was all jacked up when we first started our business. We were looking at our business credit reports. Then we took a look, took care of all that stuff. We're good now, you know? Yes, Typically, Chris Finley, you can file for new credit while your stage room is frozen because the big three are usually open. The big three is what they're looking at. Okay. I have freezes for companies, but not Innovus yet. Can I freeze Innovus and I send the disputes? Look, you can freeze Innovus now, brother. You can send the disputes. Okay. You don't have to worry, worry about it, but, but, but it might help, especially if you already have some derogatory stuff in Innovus. Pull Innovus. It's the fourth report, like we talked about, with the credit line increases. Make sure all the information is up to date and accurate because it has affected people in the past trying to get credit line increases. 
So double check your innovus, take a look if there's negative, nasty, erroneous, inaccurate information on there, dispute it, update it, get it nasty, get it taken care of, get the nasty stuff out of there, okay? All right, any unverified items that continue to be unverified must be 100% substantiated for the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will never pay, I will never pay them, thank you. Never don't wanna pay Dun & Bradstreet for managing a credit file, okay, cool. Hey. It's up to you, but I think you can manage it. You can handle it. People handle it. I feel like it's you know a little bit un unnecessary, right? Wow. Pinky ATL. Pinky has been a uh, avid subscribe tribe member. I email me. You know, a lot of people I know here are avid, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, Pinky ATL, which you've probably seen her stuff before, she says, "Hey B." Started off in October with 520, October, November, December, January, February, March. Okay, she was about five months. She done changed her life up in five months. Now I'm at 686, been pre-approved for a home loan with USDA. As we speak, I'm looking for my first ever home. Still not done. I have more work to do. Thanks, B. About to get, about to get her home equity up. About to get that bank account up, right? Because now she's not paying the rent and it's just going out, right? That's going into her own home, her own family's net worth, her own savings account, right? Maybe one day she'll have HELOC, home equity line of credit. Maybe she'll be able to sell it for a, a, a profit. But because she got her credit right and started five months ago, and that's why she want, that's why you want to start now, 609creditrepair.com, or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. Because in five months, six months, you might be able to, you might be the next one to buy your home, okay? You might be the next one to buy your dream home, buy your first home, buy your fourplex, your threeplex, your fiveplex, your sixplex, okay? Raquita Waters, Miss Waters says, congratulations, Pinky, okay? And thank you very much for the super chat, JV. I appreciate you, all right? If you got a question, just let me know. I don't see one here, but let me know. I thank you, appreciate you, okay? But this is, Pinky's a great testament. She's had comments, she's emailed. We, we've gone back and forth. We've chopped it up. We figured out, you know, some stuff that she can do. Some stuff on the do-it-yourself side she could do to boost her credit, to build, to get from 520 to 686. While others who may not be here, who may not be doing it to do it yourself, may not have enough to do it, may not be on the subscribe tribe mailing list, may not be coming to live streams on the weekend and, tr and, and uh, crushing it, getting stronger and moving forward. They might not get to wait five, just five months to get their home. They might have to wait the next five years till their stuff comes off. That's that mark that they think, oh, well, you know, I'm just hopeless and I can't get nothing done. She done took the power back and changed herself and her family's life. You could do the same for yourself, okay? This video is helping out. You're watching the replay. You've come this far. Thank you so much. Please leave a thumbs up. That really helps me keep doing what I'm doing. Give yourself a thumbs up for being here. Hit the subscribe button. That's right and the bell for notifications for the next time I go live. Jump on the email list as well for the next time I go live. And let's get back into some more of your, email, your questions, okay? And I apologize if I miss any of your questions. Look, like I said, I'm giving my email all throughout this thing, okay? So let me make sure you got the email here, okay? Thank you, JV, I appreciate it for your super chat and videos and donation. Thanks again, I appreciate you. Great, picked in tune. Thank you very much for the super chat. A collection agency responded to my first round of dispute letters I sent to the dispute bureau, to the bureaus, to dispute the bureaus, okay? They only, for the collection only provided, provided only a photocopy of the original medical billing statements Mm hmm. Not even an original bill. <laughs> photocopy Xerox these moth. These photocopy of the original medical bill statement and their own bill to pay. Great. So the original is their own bill to pay. So they, they, they got a copy from somewhere. Then they said, great. We'll type up the bill the same way. and We'll add our fees. And here you go. What's the next best step? OK, so you sent your dispute letters to the bureaus. You can send your collection validation letters to them, okay? Asking them to verify, to validate, to verify, 100%, to validate, 100%. Then you can send your next round of dispute letters to 
the bureaus. Okay, this is great. What you can do is you can maintain that document. And if the this is what you're doing, and then if the if if they come back with anything, and, and if there's anything on the original original medical billing that has CPT codes, medical information, okay? Is there anything like that peaked in tune? Do they say, oh, you, you got this IV, you got this CAT scan, MRI, you got this, and we set this bone, it's a fracture, we, we put your uh, nose back in place. I don't know, maybe, maybe you were uh, in a scuffle or something, your nose got messed up, teeth, whatever, whatever. I've seen medical billing where it just has the amounts, okay? No medical information. And I've seen medical building where it has CPT codes and it has everything that that person got. Without a proper signed HIPAA release documentation, nobody, ain't nobody supposed to have your medical information, okay? So let me see if you have any follow-ups. Let me see if you wrote anything, okay? So if you've got that, you got the HIPAA letters, okay? HIPAA letters. HIPAA letters are very clear. They state what I was talking about, okay? Now, you got that. This is just your first round, okay? So you've got that going for you. As soon as they come back with any medical information, hhs.gov, okay? This is where you can file complaints for your HIPAA complaints. And it ain't no just 1000 bucks per unverified item if you were to go to court. It's much higher. Medical stuff is much higher. It's dealt with with a much higher degree of information. There's a lot of reasons why. People are not supposed to be able to profit off of your medical information. That is very private, personal information, okay? The other thing is those guys don't have that. It probably, okay, probably don't have this information. We have seen before where collectors will send back releases to individuals, okay? So be cautious about this because they might try and trap you up. They might send a release to you and they say, oh, we'll sign this so we can send you all the information, Okay. Be very cautious about that. You don't want to sign no, nothing, right? So send your next round. Send your next round to the collector. No, well, your first round will be the collector, right? Your second round to the bureaus. Keep this. If there was any medical information on there, okay, which I'm not sure. If there was, send your HIPAA letters into the bureaus and the collectors, okay? Push on them. If there was any medical information on there, hhs.gov, okay? Let me get this to you. In tune, I'm going to get this to you. Where you can complain about medical violation. Right. Excellent. Good. Very good. Peaked and tuned. I'm guessing it's a supercars into cars. I'm guessing. Okay. I was just looking at that. It was actually a dental bill with procedures. I'll send you a copy. Send to the email. Thanks. Peak to tune, actually a dental procedure with the procedures. Do they have that HIPAA signed HIPAA saying that you that you could give that they are gonna get that information, that they could have that information? HIPAA to speech, hhs.gov, no signature on, no HIPAA release. Peak to tune the same, okay? We got you. Hit me up. Everybody, lotty dotty, everybody got my email address. I ain't leaving you hanging. I'm here for you, okay? You got my email, all right? We got to get to the emails. We got to get the disputes off, okay? We got to get back to clients. We got to call. We got to talk. We got to chop it up. We got to email. We got to, I got to put out more videos. I got to get more content. I got to talk to the team, build, rebuild. We, we were in a team meeting just the other day working on some, um, let's see, we were working on some eviction stuff. We were looking at new tenant leasing stuff where they're getting this information. We're always working on this all the time, okay? So you email me, I will get back to you. All right, let's get back to it. Oof, Pinky ATL, I will. I'll be making that video once, uh, when I, once I close and have them please send the video right to B. Awesome, sounds good. Sounds good, I'm gonna get at you, Pinky. I'm gonna holler at you. And send you a little um, how you can send it to me. You can send you can send via uh, well, I'll send you my email so you can see. We have we have each other's email. I have your pinky email. 
I'm excited. I'm gonna show the you better show the tribe. Show the tribe your your uh, dream dream house, your first house. Nice, Vic. Good to see you, Vic. Vic, an avid watcher. He's been uh, keeping it nice and tight. <laughs> He's been keeping it uh, 100 with Awesome Life, Vape in Hollywood. Uh, Vic has been awesome. His train using score is up 605. Cornita chopping it up with Vic here and uh, wants to catch up as well. We're going to keep working with you, but that's excellent. Moving on up. We're moving on up, Vic. Good to see you, brother. Thank you for being here and, and showing some love and showing some support. I appreciate you. Hans is back. All right. Hans, I've seen Hans in a while. You have 36 credit cards now, Max? Who has 36 credit cards? Coupon and with Miss Keen, Kina. Coupon and with Miss Kina. I like that. Coupon and wit without the H. Coupon and wit Miss Kina. Okay, yes, 609 letters are the best. I have 750, 820. 835 with no late payments, no inquiries, have 36 credit cards now. Woo! It's getting hot in here. Yes, 609 letters are the best. I have 750, 820, 835 with no late payments, no inquiries. I have 36 credit cards. Oh, Lord. And that's something interesting. People will say, hey, you know, four credit cards, five credit cards, 12 credit cards. You know, you want to get up in the 12s. Uh, to get up into that 800 score. Now, I'm not saying you need to rush out today and get you number 12 cards or 36 cards or whatever, okay? But it is possible to maintain good credit and a high level of credit with more available credit and more credit cards. So it's okay. Don't get too, too worried about it. But you just have to manage it. You have to know how to handle it. Be cautious if you don't want to handle that many cards. You know, I don't need, I don't need no 36 cards right now, so I don't have no 36 cards. But, you know, it is possible. This is why I love people coming back to the subscribe tribe and telling them their specific situation. So it might help you out. Might be different. Might help you out. Okay. Nice. Coupon. Good to hear. Max, email me about this situation. This is a business. This is more of a business. This is a business bank account overdraft. The account closed due to not renewing the business. I received it months ago and never since. Is this on your credit reports, Max? Email me. Maybe you're in uh, early warnings or check systems. We've gone over early warnings as owned by a group of banks. So you might want to avoid that group of banks if you're trying to get a new business bank account. Um, you might be in check systems. We've gone over that. Actually, oh. Pardon me, this water. Water, get to me. Uh, I have to double check my notes, Jerome. Okay, I'll write some stuff down. Uh, I think Wells Fargo owns part of uh, Early Warnings, um, PNC. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. What else? PNC. Yeah. And we have it, I think, just recently on our last live stream. We have that. Um, but you can take a look, make sure, because if you're looking for a business, Bank account. And if did they put it? Let me see, Max. Let me see if he responded. Did they put it on your credit report? <laughs> I can't manage a 14, 12, and two year old girls now alone. 36 cards. LOL. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, not on the report. Okay, Max, not on the report. So, uh, yeah, email me because if it's not on your credit reports, you're probably pretty good. We'll double check early warnings or check system and see what's what. Uh, they might have just felt like it might be a water under the bridge. Who knows? It's a small amount like you were talking about, okay? Lucy Girl. Hi, Brandon. I'm a new client, and now I have hope for the future, and I'm excited to have your team helping. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lucy Girl. Good to be working with you. Appreciate you. Look forward to it. You have my, uh, you have my email address as well. All right. Make sure you have my email. <laughs> All right. It is always a pleasure, subscribe tribe. It is always a pleasure being a part of this positive community. Okay. 
I got my email here, okay? I want you to go enjoy your Saturdays. What we're going to do here, I'm putting down the email list that you can join, okay? You can join this email list. You'll be notified when I go live, okay? Just for the subscribe tribe, the subscribe tribe.com, okay? I got my email. You got the stuff that you can jump on, okay? You'll be able to get to me, email me. You can do this for yourself. 609, got the mic. 609 creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you at the awesome life group.com. All right. Jerome, you keep it tight, brother. All right. I really appreciate you. So much love, so much great positivity coming here. I appreciate you. Great things are happening for all of us. And um, it's really a blessing. It really is. So thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.